Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. This is a one-take session about my Dallas Cowboys. I grew up a lifelong Dallas Cowboy fan, guys. You guys know how diehard I am about it. My father named his first son after Tony Dorsett. I named my first son after Troy Aikman. And the way it looks right now, my grandkids' son, <laughs> name is going to be Micah at this point. We love these guys, no matter what they put us through, no matter what we've been through. And we know what we've been through, guys. We, we have constant battles with the refs. The fact that the refs are about 50 to 60 years old, that's half the problem, right? Uh, I have a president who's 80 and can't remember what he did last week. These refs are expected to go ahead and run up and down the field with the players. It's not going to happen. We should be hiring professional, former professional football players and or people that are physically fit enough to run up and down this field and plant the ball in time. But that's what we're going to cry about. We're going to cry about the one second that we didn't get in the fourth quarter. Absolutely not. The first half of the football game was absolute garbage. We couldn't score. We scored seven points. We were the number one scoring offense in the NFL, and we scored seven points. In the last five minutes of the game, the 49ers had three of their best players, not of their best, their three best players out of the game at a time, and we could do nothing but turn the ball over on downs. This is who we are. We are not professionals. We, we do not execute. We have the best players. We have supposedly the best coaches. Guys, people want Dan Quinn, and they want Kalen Moore. Our offense coordinator, our defense coordinator. Nobody wants our head coach. Mike McCarthy, three years ago, was sitting on the couch watching us play in the goddamn playoffs, and now he's here coaching us in the playoffs, and it's no different. Bad clock management doesn't really make good decisions all year long, and that's where we are, what we are. But let's go and draw this back. I want Dan Quinn, I want Kaylin Moore to apply for the job. I really do, because they should be our head coach, but it'll never happen that way. We're going to lose them to Minnesota and to Denver and to any other team that really wants – our coaching staff, which they should want it, right? Because, I mean, we have some really amazing guys. Well, how about our players? C.D. Lamb, you're a far cry from Michael Irvin. And I don't mean to co just compare you with a Hall of Famer just off the bat, but you wear the number, you're the target, and you can't do it. You dropped a pass with under three minutes left, and you have the most dropped passes in the NFL this year. You shouldn't be the guy who you are. You have skills. Do whatever you want. But in the offseason, if I see you snatch, you know what? I better see you catch the ball just about as good as I see you snatching out the cell phone out of your girl's hand on draft night. That's about all you have to give me. Coop, all goddamn day. Our, that, Dalton, Dalton's amazing. We have a great tight end, but we got to pay him now. And our defense. Um, Micah Parsons is about the best defensive player I've ever seen as a, as a rookie. I didn't get to really watch Lawrence Taylor as a rookie. I watched him as I got older, as he got as he got older, and I got you know, and I started watching football again. But I'll tell you, he takes over the game, and he's fun to watch. But Trayvon Diggs, Trayvon Diggs, how, how much you want to get beat this year? I know you have eleven picks, bro, and I'm happy you took the opportunity to catch all those passes thrown your way. But you get beat, and you get beat often. Dion didn't didn't that didn't happen to Dion, guys? Didn't happen to Daryl Green, and it didn't happen to Champ Bailey. But it's happening to you, so I can't put you in that category right now. But I will tell you, Michael Parsons is fun to watch. Randy Gregory, I have a problem with you. Randy Gregory, you lack discipline. The last three minutes of that game, you got a penalty because you decided to tackle an offensive guard or tackle trying to get to the running back. You were nowhere near. You were five yards away from the plate, and you decided the defensive holding call would be great right now. This is wild to me, and we still had a chance to win the game. That's how I know we're talented. That's how I know we have a team that will continue to let me down until the day I die. But it's okay. Because I'm a fan, and I'm a fan of football, and I'm a fan of fun. And that's what I'm going to be looking at. I'm going to be looking at Cincinnati Bengals. I'm happy to watch them play the way they play. But right now, my Dallas Cowboys, they took me out. I love them. Guys, Cowboys should have won the Super Bowl in 2016. Romo doesn't get hurt. They run the table. But Dak got the play. We have a lot to look forward to. And I've been watching my Cowboys for the last 27 years, and it's been painful. But... I'll still be a fan tomorrow, guys. I still wake up tomorrow. I still feel good about myself. I still own GameStop shares. So what is there really to be mad about? But I will tell you this, guys. I expect nothing. I expect nothing less. This is what they've always done to me. So I'm happy that I watched the game. I'm happy they made the playoffs. But for those Raiders that played in the Super Bowl on Thanksgiving, which they're very happy about beating us at the last minute and overtime with refs helping them and everyone else, good, to, good for you. Denver fans who actually took it to us, good for you, Teddy Mittens. But I promise you, we'll always find a way to beat ourselves before you ever beat us. We are the Dallas Cowboys, and that's what we do. Hey, I'll see you guys around on live stream. I'll be, I will be here all week. Uh, tomorrow is a day off because it is Martin Luther King's birthday. But what am I going to do? I'll probably make a clip or two. But I'll see you guys soon, guys. Don't forget, watch the Bengals. I guess that's what I'm going to go for this year because uh, now Cowboys are done. But hey, um, I'm going to call it now. 
Cowboys, Super Bowl champs, 2023. Get at me. Rants, rants on YouTube. Like and subscribe. You know the deal. I'll see you guys. 